What's up, YouTube? It's NASMAN72 coming at you from the hashtag Dirty South. Sorry about that delay. Hey, uh, doing a video of once in the box. You saw the pic thumbnail. That's my traveling case. Um, one of a couple of cases I got, but this is the traveling case. <laughs> Weatherproof, all that good stuff. But uh, just kind of show you one I keep in that box. Uh, so without further ado, let's see. The 2019 Panini Donner's uh, Marbles, Kobe White, PSA 9. Some of this stuff I've already shown. I keep his Select 10 in there, Kobe White. The base, uh, Prism and the red, white, and blue. The Prism bases in 10, red, white, and blue is in nine. These are just some of the cards I just like to keep the higher, uh, keep handy. Um, I really like these inserts. Uh, here's the Instant Impact base, uh, PSA 10s. But I got a couple of different players. Uh, Based uh, basketball and uh, baseball. Here's the SGC 10 and the green 9.5 SGC. These actually got sent off before the PSA and of course came back. This came through with, uh, I submitted these with marbles just to test. I've never sent any uh, basketball stuff. I like Kobe White in North Carolina. Uh, and here's that Chinese Revolution, 9.5. Um, here is three Mosaic Pink Camo Kobe's uh, PSA 10. Oh, sorry about that shaking at the table. And the last two, here's the green mosaic PSA 10 and the reactive orange PSA 10. So those are the ones I like to keep with uh, Kobe in the box. Uh, the rest of them are stored away in a, another storage box. Let me get these out of the way. But, you know, I like uh, PSA, I like SGC. Um, so, I mean, I'll send uh, whoever is the cheapest, uh, sells the best when I do flip stuff. I did really, really good on the Kobe White My House Purple. These are just two of the tens, but I got a couple of them. And I just got two of them uh, stored away in there. So, I believe those are Not those. Uh, this is the second row of four rows, technically five rows. Uh, here's the mosaic base and then the white jersey short print and the prism mosaic and I wish they would mark that they don't do any of these cards as prism but it's a prism card uh, so I wish they would do that a PSA would do that you know every grading it's got its own set of issues. I did. I didn't do so well with the Donner's uh, optic with SGC. I think I got eights and eight fives, but I did pretty good. Uh, I got tens and a couple a uh, couple of nines uh, out of like four submissions with them. But two tens and two nines. I keep the tens here. And these are the last of the Kobe Whites, I promise. Um, here is the uh, Donner's Orange Laser, PSA 9. I really like that card. These next three I really like. And I believe that one's actually serial numbered, I think. One of them is. That's the next one, sorry guys. Um, the Donner's Optic Orange, this one is serial numbered. And 
I'm surprised that this next one isn't, but it's the red wave, I guess because it's a wave. It's not a true red. A lot of folks don't like the wave, but I think it's gaining appeal. But all of those got PSA nines. Those are really hard cards to grade, is my understanding. Doesn't matter who the player is, but it's just the product. I'm really happy with those. So I put those in the case. Um, somebody I was just kind of, as a Nationals fan, I was just kind of watching, keeping my eye on. Um, did really he did really good in minor leagues, but he has struggled at the uh, at the uh, big league level. Um, is Carter Keyboom? He is as of yesterday. Um, he is still struggling. He's still struggling batting. Um, I'm I'm going to say his stock has dropped. Um, I know that management for the Nationals last year said. He was uh, one of uh, three players that they would not trade, the other two being Victor Robles and Juan Soto. Um, but I think the writing may be on the wall um, because Carter Keyboom, uh, you can you can say it was the Rona short season. Nah, I just I just and it's it's sad to see he's got so much potential. I don't know if he's just one of the guys that you do. They just can't do that level i'm not i'm not sure i'm not really sure but i do have a couple of his cards uh that i have um first one is the 2018 bowman chrome uh prospects that's going to be a psa gem mint 10 and then the next one is 2019 top silver pack it's the black refractor um psa 9. let's go that that way um, and then these three, I pack pulled these um, and submitted them, so I'm pretty happy with them. First one is the Bowman, 2018 Bowman Platinum, uh, the top 40 something uh, top prospects auto. So it's a SGC 10, 10, auto 10, and grade card 10. Uh, let's see, next one, I bought Raw. I got two of these. One is still ungraded. And the other one is this one. It's an auto 10, card grade nine. That's the Montgomery Club uh, from 2019. And I really like these. The 2000 tops, uh, clearly authentic. It's an auto 10 and a grade card nine. But I like them because they're transparent or lucent or whatever you want to call it. But I do like those cards. And it's a red card and it's serial numbered, as you can see. But I think his stock is dropping. Um, you know, I, I, I think he's gonna be on the trade table or he's gonna get sent down to the miners. Uh, next card is a population one of one, and this is it. And, and uh, But it's the 2000 Bowman Platinum, top 12, uh, Mattis, top prospect orange, auto. Bowman Platinum there with the auto. That's a PSA 101, and that's it. Um, kind of funny, Northeast Ohio did a surprisingly uh, five prospects, uh, not prospects, but cards, players to look out for for the coming season. I agreed with all of them. Um, only one I questioned was uh, Raphael Devers, because he has struggled, but with the roster room being made open, he should be their power hitter, and it's going to be up to him to be that player. Um, so his cards could go up. Kind of uh, very similar to Jordan Alvarez with the Astros. Uh, a lot of potential this year. Um, I'm holding you know, his cards. I've got some stuff sent off the PSA for Devers. Um, but the other one's kind of funny because I'm a White Sox fan too. Uh, they're my American League team. But this is uh, some Eloy Jimenez. I know I do a lot of Lou Bob, Blue Bob. Uh, I, love, I love Lou Bob. Uh, but uh, I also like uh, some of these other players too. So this proves the fact that, that uh, I've, I've been investing in these guys. I've got some stuff sent to the PSA waiting to be graded and a couple of purchases waiting to come in still. But the first one uh, is the 2019 Bowman Chrome 
blue refractor PSA 9. I actually had this same card in the SGC 9 and sold it and made some pretty good money on it a couple months back. And um, I guess buyer's remorse or something, I don't know, but I had to have it up back and that was uh, in the PSA 9. This is one of the cards I really, really like. Um, it's gonna be the 2000 Tops Chrome, uh, you know, throwback, uh, silverback, orange refractor. It is not an auto, but man, that is just one tough card. Um, it is serial numbered out of 25. You get 16 out of 25. 18 I can't read y'all uh, but Eloy Orange I, I really love this card um, and it's his rookie card too I've had that for a while here's a card that gets underestimated uh, I'm telling you y'all should really read that this is one to snatch it's still very affordable even on the PSA level uh, I'd love to find one on the PSA level uh, graded card for this one either at a nine or a 10 um but it's the silver all-star foil just like the rookie card but this is the 9.5 but these are short these are short prints really uh they're a complete set they are not mass produced like uh your flagship so um, these are a lot more valuable uh in my opinion than your just base and these are not found in your regular base sets. It's his own all-star. It was the Cleveland, uh, when the all-star game was in Cleveland, I believe. And it's the silver all-star foil, not the pink and blue or whatever all-star that you find in your typical packs. But this is the more sought after version. And this is rookie card. Um, you know, the rookie debuts don't get a lot of love. I'm not really sure why, um, but they, uh, they, they definitely should. Um, so here is his rookie debut in Chrome, SGC 10. SGC 10. The paper in a 10. And something you need to, you know, remember is that paper is harder to grade than Chrome. Chrome is a lot easier to grade. It's an easier grade to get a 10 in than the paper. Paper grading uh, for rookie card, you know, you're looking at rookie card, these two rookie cards. This rookie card may be bringing in some and more, but it's an easier grade to get than this one. This is, this is the card for collectors, not flippers, but collectors that has the most value. Uh, more prestigious, I guess, would be the word. Uh, let's see, 9.5 SGC paper, uh, SGC Dine chrome, and then the 9.5 black jersey, almost basically the same image, just a little more followed through, uh, but Bowman, SGC 9.5, and the Juan Makata, uh, Bowman Chrome serial numbered auto 10 on the card 10 on the auto uh, but it's the prime positions auto card it is serial numbered and you know he was drafted by Boston so this is this is one of the cards with his Boston something too is that there is a the uh, the image uh, for his uh, top something update fielding is in, he's got one with Boston, same position, same picture, but it's been uh, filtered with the White Sox sheet. So that is my non Lou Bob's Chicago stuff that I have in the case. I do have some stuff that I've gotten. I'm just trying to, the slow mail, but uh, and uh, got to go with Lou Bob. There's his SGC 10 Bowman Platinum. And I've showed these. 
before. And those are the five PSA 10s um, that I keep in the box. Sort the box. Um, but yeah, big, these are still affordable too. You can, you can still get these. If you can get these around 130 bucks a piece, you're doing good. Uh, I would not pay over 150 for one of, for a base card paper. And these are all paper. Those were all paper cards. They're running, you know, missed out. I got missed out. There were some on for 120. I waited till the next day and you snooze, you lose. Um, here's some generic players. Uh, that I just keep, um, uh, but uh, show this. We're gonna go bow ten. I actually did pretty good with the bow cards. I've sold them all except for these two that I'm keeping uh, for my PC. But bow bichette SGC ten and bow bichette SGC ten gold label. Uh, Jordan SGC 10 and then this Jordan SGC 10 is a error card there's no top silver foil here 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 so this is this is not going to be sold I sold one of them all right oh look uh Deluxe. Just GC10. These are all 10s. Um, okay. Dustin May. I like this kid. And then that, uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I, I kept it because it was a SGC10 base, but I mean, does he even play? I mean, does he even play anymore? I mean, such a disappointment, but that would be the card I'd get rid of. Something would happen to be worth something. And then the 9.5 on the silver pack. Um, those, this insert's got a lot of love here in the last several weeks. Um, something to remember too, SGC, I think SGC values are gonna go up um, for these sets of cards that, you know, you may not want to grade with PSA now, uh, especially like these trick, like the Chrome Turkey uh, for Pete Alonzo. And the 9.5 on the rookie debut for Aurora. All right. I swear I got a couple more here. <laughs> um, hometown boy or young man, uh, hell of a ball player, MVP for the last World Series. He's also was rookie of the year, his uh, 2000, for his rookie year. Um, I think this is a guy that you probably should buy. And I'm not one to say buy this, buy this, but the next couple are, are cards that, yeah, I, I would recommend buying into. Um, is Corey Seager's rookie card paper PSA 10 and it's chrome either the PSA 10 or 9 10s are still affordable chrome is more than the paper uh pricing but I think Corey is going to have a heck of a ball season this year so that'll be my recommendation Corey Seager from Concord North Carolina I've actually sold all of my Wander Franco cards except for these and I had them for sale and pricing is just so crazy. It's like a population of like maybe five cards or something like that. Um, but these are PSA nines. Um, the 2019 Bowman 30th anniversary orange refractor. Um, they're serial numbered uh, out of 25. And I think one's 11 and one is 12 uh, of 25, but these are the last two Wander Franco cards I've got, and I am going to hold these. These are cards I'm holding, I'm not selling, that I'm showing out of the box.
I don't think they're going to be wandered up till June. It has to do with contract. Um, here's some, you know, I'm a Nationals fan, and this is this is my man, uh, somebody I PC. I got a couple up in the box, but these are the ones that I'm holding uh, to make sure nothing happens. Um, Juan Soto. Here's his SGC 9.5. And I was actually going to sell a couple of 9.5s, and I'm, I'm not selling them at this point. I think I'm just going to hold on, hold on to them, and uh, see what happens. I uh, decided that after the pricing, really sat down and thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I said SGC could go through the roof. I think PSA is going to be still dominant, up, but I think the value of SGC cards are going to rise. Um, but here are two PSA 10s. Uh, which are cheaper to buy just to buy the slab card PSA 10 than try to pull it from a box from that series and then get it graded. You're gonna you're you're not even gonna break even at this point. Uh, so it's actually cheaper just to buy the PSA US 310. These are the paper, the HD 55 or the Chromes. I've actually got two of those um, that I've picked up. Um, this is hard to believe. I had a stinking buttload of these cards. I'm talking about like maybe somewhere between six and 10 of these raw and could not give them away, but ended up doing a lot set, did okay with it. I was happy, The you know, the customer was happy and I was happy with what it was, uh, but way before he, he, he hit uh, and I kicked myself, because uh, I was just trying to, trying to, I bought, uh, bought into a Series 1 case and was trying to get that case paid off uh, and get some stuff graded. So I just started selling some stuff and I should have waited. Um, but I didn't. But it's all good. You live and learn because uh, I was new to it, starting out with uh, flipping uh, these cards. But I did pick this up. Really, really good deal. Uh, there was a deal on a trade involved. Uh, the seller did not has asked me not to say what it went for and what the trade was for or to identify who it is, but it was a Instagram trade. So you know who you are on Instagram. Thank you. Um, so Tatis, I think Tatis is going up. Uh, I'm going to be honest with Acuna. I don't, I, I, Juan Soto is past Acuna. I think Acuna is going to do good, but I mean, would it be good to have a bat down or something? But I, I think that just, I'm staying away from it. Um, I think Ozzy uh, for the Braves are going to do good. I uh, got a couple of his cards. I got something graded already and uh, one graded. Um, and then these two cards, I've got a green. I got an emerald green for this next player, but I'm not going to send it graded because there's some there's a crease in it, like a surface damage. And so I'm not going to send it, but. Aaron Ardo, formerly with the Colorado, now with the Cardinals. There's the Walmart Blue Rookie card, 8.5. Um, so I was really happy with that. It's all center top to bottom for sure uh, that you can see. And then left, you know, so it'll be top to bottom this way. So it's left right this way, uh, off centered on the back. So it's, that's a deserving 8.5. And I wanted it slab, some Walmart Blue. Um, wished I could afford a target red, uh, but this card I, I really, really like is the Topps Chrome Orange and the 2013, they did not serial number oranges, um, on their Chromes, but that's a 9.5. I'm, I'm pretty sure that'd be a PSA 10. If I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put, I'll put it out there that if I snapped it and sent it off to PSA, I'm pretty confident that would get a 10. I would be very surprised if it got a nine. I mean, it, I mean I'm mean, i surprised it didn't get a 10. I mean, it's off on the back a little bit, off center. And maybe surface on the front, because I think the front looks really good. That's just a pretty card, but I prefer it in the SGC. It looks so good with that orange and black. Um, so, but... Last couple of cards. I bought into the UK edition box this year 
And here is a uh, Corey Clutter with Texas rookie card. It's a blue. Um, I guess blue refractor, but uh, it's one. It's zero one out of seventy five. I got a PSA nine, and I got a Bobichet. It's serial number, and it's single. Single digits out of 75, I can't read it, but uh, the UK edition. So, got those. And then, two pretty good Bryce Harper cards you really wanna have is the Yelling SGC 9.5, and then the Batting 9.5 rookie card. And the last one. I've got two of these, both of them, SGC9. Submitted them in with Bobbles. Uh, SGC submission. Uh, but it's the iconic 1990 score. Bo Jackson. I mean, you just cannot go wrong with Bo. SGC9. Bo knows. That's right. It's all centered top to bottom. Be left, right. Holding vertical on the back. Um, it's off center on the front. You can see it's kind of like shifted, but on a card. I've got two of these, both of them SGC9. Sorry, SGC9 from that um, submission. So I know it was a really long video. Appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Hashtag Dirty South Production. Keep you hot. Head up, eyes up. Head on the swivel. Deuces. I'm out.